Does your motorcycle idle funky, or maybe not even at all? If so, there can be several causes for this, but the most common and the first thing you should troubleshoot or tune is your carburetor. Today on MC Garage, we're gonna talk about the idle circuit of a carburetor. With modern fuel injection, a stable idle, no matter the conditions, is a given. But if you have a carburetor on your ride, things can be less consistent. Environmental factors such as altitude and temperature can require you to make some changes to your carb. And of course, the darn thing could just be full of crud from sitting too long or for not being serviced for a long time. Ari did a killer video a few years back on how to clean a carburetor, and we're gonna go ahead and include the link down below. Click on that if you need to find out how to clean your pilot jet. If you haven't watched the first two videos in the series of carburetor videos, go back and watch those first. Links, of course, are in the description. Pilot Jet, along with the mixture screw, is responsible for how your bike idles. It also provides the fuel for about the first 15 to 20% of throttle. Pilot Jet is the smaller of the two jets under the main body of the carburetor in which fuel flows to mix and atomize with the incoming air on its way to the cylinder. In your service manual, the manufacturer will list the standard size pilot for your bike, as well as give you some alternatives for the ranges of altitudes and temperatures you might be riding in. However, you just can't change the pilot and be ready to go. It might be close, but there are still a few steps left in tuning. This is where you're gonna to need to listen to your bike. First, your bike should be warmed up. When the bike is cold, you're gonna to need to use the choke or enrichment circuit. A cold engine needs a richer, meaning a lower air to fuel ratio to run. Most flat slides like this use a separate enrichment circuit to supply additional fuel. It's basically a plunger that opens and closes the circuit. Other carburetors might use a secondary butterfly to limit the airflow while the pilot provides the same metering of fuel, thereby creating that richer mixture. Once the engine is up to temp, turn off the choke. We also need to be sure that your air or fuel mixture screw is in the middle of the range to start this process. If the mixture screw is on the air box side, it's an air screw. Like this one right here, it meters air going into the pilot circuit. Turning it clockwise closes the opening, richening the mixture. Counterclockwise, it adds air and leans out the mixture. Check your service manual, but a proper baseline setting should be around two and a half turns out. That's clockwise from fully closed or seated. If the mixture screw is on the engine side, it meters fuel instead of air. Clockwise is less fuel and a leaner mixture, whereas counterclockwise is more fuel for a richer mixture. Just like the air screw, check your manual for the standard position or starting point, but a good rule of thumb for this should be about one and a half turns out. So once you have those in the correct starting position, we can get down to tuning and jetting. So let's get into what the idle behavior will be like when a warmed up bike is properly jetted, it's too rich, or it's too lean. A proper idle should be consistent without any input from the throttle. It should also set it quickly after revving the engine. If it's too lean, you'll find a hesitation or bog off idle when you crack that throttle. Also, when revving the engine, the RPMs will hang at a higher than normal level, and it also won't settle into idle quickly. A rich setting will give you a sputter when the throttle is cracked. Response will just feel a bit heavy or sluggish. When the engine is revved, the RPMs will drop quickly and dip below ideal idle before recovering. Sometimes it'll even just die. Depending on that behavior, you should have a pretty good idea if you need more or less fuel. Is it too rich or is it too lean? From there, begin with the mixture screws. Lean or rich in the pilot circuit a quarter turn at a time. Rev the engine, listen, feel, and repeat. If you get a nice stable idle, you're good to go. If you can't get that nice idle without going to the extreme edges of the mixture screw adjustments, say one turn either way from the starting point, we're gonna have to change jet sizes. But when you change that jet, make sure you put the mixture screws back to their standard position before you begin the process again. Otherwise, you're gonna be chasing problems all over the place. They should give you a great base to start on your idle or pilot circuit. Some modern four-stroke carbs have an accelerator pump and a jet. That's an additional wrinkle that we're gonna to have to tackle in a later video. But just be sure that circuit is clean and ready to go before you try to set your idle and crack that throttle. Later, we're also gonna jump into the art of sinking a bank of carbs on a multi-cylinder engine. But that's the basics, and we'll get most of you with a single carburetor well on your way to fine-tuning your motorcycle idle circuit. 
In the next video, we're gonna move on to the needle jet and needle. That's it for this episode of MC Garage. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. If you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.